She savage, be with them A's. Play with this shit, you get A. Bitch, I be covering them, baby. Am I a bandwagon fan? That is the question for today's video. Now, I get this quite often on Twitter because you guys know I'm a Bulls fan. But I watch a lot of basketball, and I, I'm always a dude that respects good basketball. So even though I'm not a fan of, of a team like the Boston Celtics, when I see a guy like Isaiah Thomas balling out, I'm going to give him the compliment. Now on Twitter, people are like, how do you like Isaiah Thomas if you're a Bulls fan? Like you, it, it, if I feel like a lot of people think that since I am a Bulls fan, I can only like the Bulls, and I, I have to hate everything else. But today we're taking a quiz to see if I'm a bandwagon fan. So if you guys that don't know, of course, as I mentioned, we got the Bulls. I'm a Blackhawks fan. I'm a White Sox fan. And I don't watch much football, but if I had to pick, I'm going to be a Bears fan. Because this is this is the city I live in. But we're going to see if I'm going to pass this test because I would say... If it's Chicago, I like it. All right, boys. So hopefully I remember to put the quiz in the description for you guys. This is over on Sports Unbiased. No idea what this is. I just typed in bandwagon quiz. And it was the first thing that came up. So let's get into it. I don't even know how many questions are in here. Are you a Yankees, Cowboys, or Lakers fan and not from that state? Basically, that's, that's straight calling it out. If you like the Yankees, Cowboys, and the Lakers and you're not in LA or Dallas or New York, they're saying it, boom, you're a bandwagon fan. That's what they're saying. But no, I don't hate them. I'm just saying I, I'm not a fan, and there's reasons for that. If your favorite team located outside of your hometown, nope, I am all about my hometown. I'm all about my hometown, and that fits perfectly for my situation. Do you own merchandise from your favorite team? I mean, I'm, I'm wearing a shirt from one of my favorite teams as we speak. Do you own a jersey from your favorite team? Uh... No, and it's it's not just I don't know I just don't because jerseys are usually expensive and I'm a broke college student so I don't I don't splurge like that. Does the jersey that you own have the name on the back? Not applicable applicable because I don't have a jersey. Uh, do you own a player jersey from a? Oh, do you have a jersey from a person that's not on your team? Um, I. Okay, I'm gonna use this as jersey shirt, like those NBA jersey shirts. I do. I do have a, a Ben Simmons um, shirt. So, yeah, the jersey reflects the team, but not the player. Not that. Yes, but I do not wear it since the player left. Oh. So, there. Okay, so in this option, I guess I do. Because even the shirt I'm wearing right now, of course, is a White Sox shirt. I mean, a, a Black Hawk shirt. The shirt it is, it's, it's Johnny Oduya. Who actually doesn't play for us he plays in Dallas right now unless he got traded recently so I guess that's I don't know I'm, I'm just gonna say yes but I do not wear it since the player left I'm just gonna say that one because honestly these three options don't fit with the situation do you currently or have you ever lived where your favorite team plays yes was one or both of your parents a fan of this team you claim allegiance to? Now, my parents aren't big into sports. Well, my, my dad is. My dad's a big football fan, which is weird because, I mean, I don't like football at all, really. And then he's a huge football fan. But um, my mom, she's my mom is a definition of a bandwagon fan. She had a Cubs shirt on a couple months ago. She had a Golden State Warriors shirt on a couple months ago. She likes to, to claim the team that's winning. And I, I mean, I guess that's okay because it's my mom. But anybody else do it. It's not cool. But only only if mama um, does it. Are you a fan of the professional team in your area? Yep. Can you name four players on your current roster? Yes, I can. We're talking Bulls. We got Dwayne Wade, Jimmy Butler, uh, Michael Carter-Williams, let's say Robin Lopez, White Sox. We could go Jose. Yeah, just no. Yes. Yes. I can. On all of my favorite teams. Even the Blackhawks, even though I haven't watched much this season. Can you name your team's manager slash coach? Yes, we got uh, Fred Hoiberg for the Bulls. Robin Ventura for the White Sox. <laughs> oh my God. One of the best coaches in hockey. One of the best coaches in hockey. He lives close to me. Quinn Quinville? Quinville. Joe Quinville. Okay. Yes. It took me a minute, but yes, I can. Uh, can you name two players from your team the last time they won a championship? So when it comes to the Bulls, you got MJ, you got Pippen, White Sox, you got Joe Creedy and Paul Konorko, um, Blackhawks, you got, well, Johnny Oduya and Patrick Kane. So yes, of course, I owe them gratitude for bringing us the titles, what it says, and that's true. 
can you answer that how many titles have your team won yes um six for the bulls but i don't even know the white Sox or the blackhawks but I, i'm gonna say yes and that's the only reason i'm gonna say yes is because basketball is my heart like I mentioned, when it comes to hockey or baseball, I follow the sport, but not even close to, to basketball. So I'm going to give myself a pass on that one. Are you rooting for a team because your favorite player signed and was traded to them? Nah. If your city has more than one team, which Chicago does when it comes to baseball, uh, do you root for the other team if your team is not in the playoffs? I'm, yes, I rooted for the Cubs in this playoffs. I did. I admit it. I, like, I feel like here in Chicago, a lot of people think you have to like the Cubs, and if you like the Cubs, you have to hate the White Sox, or vice versa. And I don't think that's true. I'm here for the city. So even though I'm a White Sox fan, once of course the White Sox had no chance of making the playoffs, I wasn't a Cubs fan, but I wanted to see them succeed. So yes, I want the city to succeed. Were you ever seen wearing your team's gear before a championship season or playoff run? Yeah. Can you name at least two Hall of Famers from your team? Yep, without a doubt. Can you quote stats or, or information about your team that is more than 10 years old? When it comes to the Bulls, I, I sure can. Has your team ever had a losing season? Oh my God, yeah. White Sox? Yeah, we, at least recently. Uh, do you have more than one favorite team in the same sport? No, you can't do that. Anybody that does that, is, you can't. You got to stop it. You pick a favorite team, you can say, like, this is my second favorite, but no. You only can pick one. This Oh, this is the last three questions. Did you ever switch teams when they moved to a new location? No. Uh, my team... My team is my team wherever I live. Does your fantasy roster influence which teams you root for? No, not at all. Historically, are your teams the greatest in each sport? Nah. Let me go. Okay. Um, okay. Your score greater or equal to 15. That makes you a bandwagon fan. I got four out of 27. So let's see what that makes us. Between 8 and 15, bandwagon tendencies. Um, less than 8 or equal to 8. You are a true fan. You are there through thick and thin. You believe in being faithful and are rewarded when your team wins. That's me. This is... Whoa. I guess I am a, I guess I'm Spike Lee. Um, good or bad thing, I don't know. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. We found out that I am not a bandwagon fan, but I love my city and I love the teams in my city. So hopefully in the description, if I remember, there will be a link to this quiz. And uh, you let me know, what was your number? I got four. I got four out of 27. Let me know what your percentage was and we can decide if you are a bandwagon fan. If you enjoyed the videos, always appreciate it for you to leave it a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out.